Today we're gonna be working on our normal warm-ups and then high notes today. Of course, we're gonna start with our stretching, posture, all of that, but when we get to number six, our high range, uh, we will absolutely be working on some high notes today. But let's go ahead and get started. Keys are No matter what we're singing, high, middle, or low, let's just all take your hands, stretch up nice and tall. You can be seated, take a deep breath in. Exhale, bring those arms down. Roll your shoulders forward three times. Ooh, and backwards. You guys, I've been learning how to play the ukulele this week. Go ahead and twist one way. So my posture as a ukulele player and the other has been not as good as my singing posture. Take your shoulders, pop them up to your ears, toss them back, and drop them down. Let's go ahead and do our breathing. Repeat what you hear. I'll do it, and then I'll do it a second time, but the second time's when you do it with me. So I'll do it, and then you repeat. One more. Those aren't difficult. They're just to get your breath moving. And that muscle down where your belly button is, is called your diaphragm. So when I do those, enjoy my Lion King sweatshirt, you can see, and you know if you've been in class with me before, that we like to focus on using our diaphragm and not our shoulders when we sing. But our normal breath support exercise, we're gonna breathe in for four. We're gonna hold that air in for four, and then we're gonna act as though our lungs are a balloon, and we're going to let a little air out at a time. We're gonna hiss out for 12. Take a deep breath in. Two, three, hold for four. One, two, now hiss out for 12. Make it be the smallest amount of air that you can let out. Do you know how quiet that is? When I was doing eight or 10, it was because I had so much air and not a lot of time. Now I have to let out the smallest amount. Final time, deep breath in.
nothing too low yet. Just E. space as if the doctor were saying say ah you want huh, as much space or you could think of like a yawn oh, there's a lot of space when you let that happen We're going to try something a little bit advanced. It's still not super hard, I promise. We're going to practice sliding. Think about it for a second. If you're on a slide, you start at the top and you go all the way to the bottom. There's no real stopping. In singing, it's the same thing. We're going to, on an ooh, we're going to sing. Ooh. Do you hear how my voice, it drops down five notes. Ooh. Ooh. But I never let the sound stop. also practice things like riffing like pop singers do a lot of riffing if you've heard somebody sing the national anthem and they add like their own flair to it a lot of that is riffing and we won't do any specific songs in our warm-ups but we will practice different warm-ups if that's something you ever want to practice or put into a song you're working on but we're gonna go down to number five the low range on the word v v e e v v v v v
where we get to number six, our quick share of the week. Who is your favorite singer and group? For me right now, I have to say I've been listening to a lot of Whitney Houston, if you know who that is. Does anyone know who that is? She sings that, and I, I will always. Anyone ever heard of that song? It's okay if you haven't. That's who I've been listening to a lot this week. Really quick, I always like to ask you guys the same question. Sasha, who is your favorite singer and or group? Do you have a favorite? Mm-hmm. Huh, I never have heard of this person. What kind of music do they do? I'll have to look it up. Is it famous? Kind of. I will look that up, but thank you for letting me know. Ayla, what about you? Who's your favorite singer? Ooh, always good. And Hayden, what about yourself? Oh, guys, we have a visitor who never comes. Hayden, who's your favorite singer or group? You don't have a favorite, you just listen to a lot. All right, kitten. <laughs> awesome, well if you guys think of any other ones that you think would be good, let me know in the chat. And I saw that some people have been asking for that sheet music, so I will absolutely 100% be sending this. And yes, there is part there for piano, as well as singing. So if anybody ever wanted to sing this song and you wanted to have the piano play under you, you absolutely can. All right guys, it's time, main event, high notes. Yeah, go ahead, Sasha. That was Charlotte. I have two actually. So when I go do shows, when I go do like musicals and performances, I'm at the theater a lot, right? So I didn't want to just have Charlotte be by herself. So I've got a white cat and a black cat. And that one was Charlotte. My black cat's name is Desiree. You may see her. She may jump over onto that couch and take a nap and she'll ignore all of us. I promise. But high notes. Let's do it. So really quick, guys. Whether you're sitting or standing, if people are around you, they're gonna hear this and think that we're crazy, but it's okay. We're gonna start by doing a yawn sigh. So think about this. If you yawn, you drop your jaw. <sighs> we're gonna do that, but we're gonna let our voice go from the bottom. I actually just yawned because I let that go so deep. We're gonna go from the low notes to the high notes. It'll sound like this. <sighs> and yes, that sounds crazy, right? But what you're actually doing is you're letting yourself freely go from your lowest notes all the way to your high notes. There's no pushing your voice. There's no like scales to practice. You're just letting your voice go all the way up like a siren and all the way back down like a siren. If you think of like an ambulance or a police car, woo, woo, that's kind of what we're doing, but we're just going up and down. Now you're all muted, so we won't hear anybody else's, but if you want to and you feel comfortable, it is the best way to start if you're gonna do high notes, why? because you're already loosening up your body. You're letting go of any tension in your neck and your jaw. I'm gonna do one and then we'll get started with some scales. Ooh. And now my high notes might be different than yours. That's okay, we are all on our own journeys here. But check your posture please. Posture is important in all parts of singing but especially our high notes. If we wanna have good, on pitch singing, we want, if we want to sound like this, and we don't want to sound like this, our posture and our breath support. Numbers one and two, do you notice how every week I have us do numbers one and two? Always, without fail, we've got to get those done. So, that's this one. We're gonna sing ooh and ah on this one. Ooh, ah. So ooh is just that first note. Ooh, round lips like you're pulling a piece of pasta. Ooh, then the rest you drop that jaw. Ooh, which doesn't sound hard here, but what happens when we take it up in our range? One, two, three, four. Ooh, breath in.
using my hand a little bit. When I get to that high note, I use my hand to make a circle. What this is doing is it's making sure I don't have any tension in my jaw or my shoulders. A lot of times singers, we get so nervous, we tense our shoulders and we tense our jaw and it doesn't help. It makes singing a not fun thing and we have a harder, it's harder to hit your right notes when you do that. So if you want, you'll see me do it here too. These are all just tips and tricks in my toolbox to help us all be the best singers we can. Let's go back here. to our middle to our high all in the same exercise. going to practice singing straight tone and vibrato. We touch on this every once in a while. That song I showed you guys, this song has parts, A, it uses middle, low, and high range in this. That beginning, you guys all know this song, so I'm gonna use it as an example. The beginning, we're in like our middle, lo low range. This, I've been, we are in the low range right here, but we'll go to the high range yet at all but we do later the long to be see the line where the sky meets the sea it calls me higher notes here and no one knows now listen to how we can sing nose nose is two notes we sing nose i'm putting vibrato on the second note but that first one mm -mm. And no one knows. Notice it's it's called a straight tone, a straight note. No, the opposite would be no. But I'm singing it no. So I want to do a warm up for us where we sing. We'll sing. Um, uh, we'll do. We'll do. Oh, we'll do it on ma. M A. And we're gonna sing it straight, then vibrato, and then straight. So we're singing it three times. And then we'll go up. 
up. I know that certain songs have you guys adding vibrato and taking it away. I'm showing you this one right here that does a lot. There are some parts where it's like long to be straight note, straight note vibrato. And there is no right or wrong. If Hayden were singing this song and they wanted to sing long to be, that's fine. But if you wanted to, you could actually have vibrato to all of these. See the line where the sky meets the sea. Now, I would not choose to do that. I would choose to make those first notes straight tone. See the line where the sky meets the sea. It calls me. I had, you, if you listen, you hear I use no vibrato in that, right? Do it one more time, then I'll use vibrato on the second note of nose. See the line where the sky meets the sea. It calls me. And no one knows. There's vibrato. How far it goes. I'm stylistically choosing not to put vibrato, not to put vibrato on the notes until the end of the phrases. So no vibrato. How far it goes. If you wanted to make it all straight tone, great. And no one knows how far it goes. Now I'm making this really dramatic, like a lot of vibrato or really straight. But for us, we can lose, we can leave this. We're just going to sing two notes straight. Two notes vibrato. Two notes straight. to be more difficult to sing these notes straight all the time. If you're ever singing something super high, like I have students that are singing the Phantom of the Opera, the musical, and it goes really high. So it's difficult for them to be up here. Oh. See, notice I, I have a hard time. I'm trying to sing a straight note there. I notice in those higher registers, my voice naturally wants to put vibrato in it. Trust me when I say this, vibrato is not a bad thing. When I was your age, I was like, oh no, vibrato is gonna make me a, an opera singer and I am not an opera singer and I refused to sing with vibrato. Then I got into voice lessons and I learned, hey, vibrato is a natural part of your singing voice. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just something you can use and have again in your singer's toolbox. Am I gonna put it in my Disney repertoire, my Disney songs? Maybe, but not as much as I would, you know, if I were singing classical music. You guys, thank you so much for singing with me today. This recording will be on our OutSchool page in a few hours. I will also have this version of How Far I'll Go on our page.